There are 1,400,000 new cases of cancer diagnosed every year. Over a half million of these people die. There are 21 million new cases of heart disease caught every year. Over three quarters of a million of these people do not survive. 7 million Americans live with diabetes. We lose 65,000 of these people annually. Section. Which one do you the want? Art section, please. Okay. Not with this one. Here you go. Thanks. Mm hmm. Is there anything interesting in yours? Uh, well, just the headline reading here it says, Our genes are doomed. Very pathetic. Um, by this schmo named John Joe. Well, it says, um, unless we embrace genetic engineering, we will become a sickly and frail species. Uh, All of us, huh? Uh, apparently, I don't know. It says to go to A6 because it then starts talking about bombings and things. Well, check out the rest of it. Could be interesting. Genetic engineering has become a highly controversial topic in today's society. One author, John Joe McFadden, has taken the opinion that society must resort to genetic engineering in order to save itself from dangerous mutations that have accumulated in our genetic code. This production will elaborate on the issues that McFadden has failed to address in his article. Well, I can't see. <laughs> genetic engineering, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't know as if I believe all that, like it's going to really save our entire species. Well. Yeah, he's talking about curing diabetes before birth, and like, well, something like that would have been really nice to think about, and probably would help out with Jenna a lot. Yeah, but I don't think it's all that simple. I think he's oversimplifying things. I wonder what other people think. If you had a child with diabetes, would you give that child insulin to keep it alive? Definitely. Yes, definitely. Yes, if that was the type of diabetes that, that where they needed the insulin shots, yes. Right? I certainly would, yes. yes. Definitely. Yes. Would you genetically alter your child to ensure his or her health? I'm sure I would. Uh, it was something I'd consider, but I mean, you take your chances. I mean, you're going to get what you're going to get. That's, you know, a firm, firm believer in, uh, you know, the Lord and His work. I mean, you, you get a 50-50 chance, and you know, lucky we're, we're lucky one time enough to get a great little boy, so. If it was proven that, uh, that it would be a benefit without any uh, side effects. No, I think I'd probably leave it in the hands of God. Probably research it before we had the baby to see if it makes sense. Sure. I would definitely try. Not to change perhaps hair color, but if it's a disease that I know for sure, like a MS, something drastic, yes, I would definitely do anything to save him or the pain that he is going to have. Do you have any other feelings about genetic engineering? 
No, I, I think it's I think it's a good idea. I'm all for technology. I'm all for the way that uh, you know improving the world and performing a way of life. I know that it's going to be used in, in a lot of good ways. You know, I, I know the basis of what it does, but I just I don't know if I would promote it myself. Uh, well, certainly, if it gets in the wrong hands, uh, we have some Dr. Evils that want to to, to do something with it. Uh, yeah, it, it, there's always that risk. It frightens me, the genetic engineering does. I think if it somehow can be regulated so it's used for things like controlling disease, I think it needs to be something that might be health-threatening, you know, life-threatening to the person, the child that's to be born. And I don't know how you'd ever regulate that. Responsibly, I think it's, it's important to do some more research. And I think you are, we are capable of it. Yeah. I think we should call Stan. Stan who? You know, Stan and insurance Stan. About? About maybe getting genetic engineering covered in our policy. Well, if we do that, aren't they going to drop Jenna from our coverage? No, I don't think we drop Jenna from our coverage. I think they'd be supportive that the next baby wouldn't have to go through all that testing that Jenna had to go through. But aren't they going to put her in a higher risk? level because she has diabetes and she's not genetically engineered to be perfect like the rest of them? I think that if a person presented as uh, not having a genetic background, for example, in a devastating disease such as diabetes, I think that the insurance companies would look at them more favorably. Well, it would be in terms of insurance regulation, it would be the insurance commissioner the Office of Insurance Services. Well, when I talk about the regulatory role and the laws that Michigan has passed in terms of discrimination for health insurance benefits as well as employment, the regulatory arms for those areas of interest for insurance, it's the insurance commissioner. That is their function in state government. I see the evolution of what the insurance companies are covering now compared to what they were covering a few years ago. Um, I have heard rumors of people that would seek an HIV test, for example, being discriminated against by an insurance company 